that have occurred over the last, I don't know how many months. But usually when you change a polling place, it's out of a request from the organization that owns that facility or manages that facility. They may say we're under construction, and they say due to the economic situation, we have to put a daycare center in here. They may have had to repurpose the facility, or they don't want to be responsible for the equipment. But usually that request to change a location is generated from the facility itself. But our obligation, our statutory obligation, is to notify every voter by shipping them a new voter information card. And what we put on the front of that card, there's a little line that says, hold in place change. That's on the envelope. So sometimes, you know, if a voter gets more than one card, they say, why am I getting this? To make sure they know why, we added that line on the bottom of the card. And have those gone out yet, uh, or are they still oh, yes. to go out for the... Oh, yes. So anybody that's had a polling place change, they've been they notified. They the card as soon as we realized that there was a change. But by statute, we have to post the, the notices about a change uh, in the paper. We put it on our website. And prior to the election, the outreach staff is going to go out and post signs at the old locations. Right, Gina? You're going to post signs at the old location, pointing people to the new location. Do you know how many polling place changes there were for this election? Uh, I don't. Pa uh, Mary, do you have any idea? Uh, I would say it's going to be somewhere around 40 and maybe a little bit higher.